welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you turning in for the first time please like comment and subscribe for those of you returning comment subscribe and share thank you for the love it's been amazing so far and i am so happy today to talk to you guys about my first designer handbag as you can see in the caption below and how like how it makes me feel like how it feels to actually still own this piece and what made me bought it and the list goes on so let's jump right into it as you guys can see next to me this is my first designer handbag i have bought her in 2006 and it was it meant so much to me because like i just i just don't know like it was my first designer uh i saved up for it and i was actually going to new york so i wanted i don't know if you guys know like <laughs> this is crazy though i was actually about to say it anyway so for those of you that don't know like caribbean people when they tend to travel for some odd reason we tend to want to dress up like we want to look the part honey like girls are going all out your it's like you have to pull out your sunday best you have to be on point hair done nose done makeup beat for the gods girl and you're sweating under this makeup jesus like why do we do this to ourselves like it took me years to actually travel around the world and moving back to Europe to actually realize like, girl, what are you doing to yourself? So now I just travel in loungewear, like tracksuit, comfy sneakers, you know, and it was just always a drama to travel. Like you have to take off your belt, take off your heels, some jewelry, cause you know, it's not real gold or it's metal jewelry and you gotta take off all these bangles and push it through and pick up your luggage back, get dressed back, and run to the plane because maybe you're missing your flight and rushing. Ugh, like, no offense to my Caribbean peoples out there that still want to look their Sunday best and look their best part when they're traveling. Do you, boo? But I am so over it. But the, me, the, the pro purpose of me actually getting into that was why I actually buy the bag because I wanted to have top bag i wanted to have a nice designer bag to go on holiday with i even had a way where i don't travel unless i have a new bag like i need to get a new piece to travel so oh trip coming up handbag top of the list in order for me to travel it's crazy why people think this way is like oh anyways long story short um i was taking a trip to new york which was my first new york trip i would like to believe it was in actually it was not 2006 correction it was in 2008 when i made my trip to new york i had a very good friend that was applying for avon ailey and um he wanted support and as a friend i was like you know what i'm gonna come up to support you through this um i've always supported him through um his stuff like most of his school applications for dance um, so we went to New York. I booked a two-week hot vacation. Um, and I wanted to get ready for New York. So I went up going to Burberry. Um, on the island of St. Martin, we had a store on the French Street um, named Fifth Avenue. So basically what this lady did, um, she would go out to these places. And she would order pieces and resell it on the island so she would order authentic pieces from these companies and she would then add her little so kind of like a personal shopper add her a little percentage to make profit so um yeah i um was very excited when i actually purchased this item because i ended up purchasing the belt to match and the uh, shoes to match don't judge me on this in order for me to travel so uh i always kept her in my collection um she's aged well i mean for 14 years or i would say oh uh, 13 years for a 13 year old bag i would say it aged pretty well 
um, I would consider her to be vintage, honey, because they don't make him like this no more, okay? They definitely don't make him like this no more. So, um, technically, this is how I kind of got into designer. Um, I always used to watch Sex in the City at that time. I was so obsessed with that that those series i used to tune in every time to watch it on hbo and you know seeing the fashion evolved on there was kind of what kind of made me also got into it and also look at designer stuff i mean i remember it was like yesterday like when i first bought my first piece it was like i was you couldn't speak to me i was like the girl in the picture so for me it's just a great journey to actually still have her as part of my collection and the funniest thing is, even though I had the whole Rob situation going on in 2015, they left her. <laughs> like, they left this one. Out of all of them, they left her. And I was like, is this a sign? So, um, yeah, I never sold it, got rid of it or anything. And it, it's, it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to pass to my daughter or pass to my kids. Um... You know, I definitely love this bag so much. It's, I mean, I don't remember when last I wore it, but I'm definitely going to take her out for a spin. I do tend to try and take her out for a spin once a year. Um, People still actually compliment me about this bag whenever I have it. I'm like, oh my God, I like your bag. I'm like, oh, thank you. It's very, very old. They're like, oh, really? They're like, oh, it looks really good. You know, stuff like that. So, I mean, for me personally, I love her to bits. And yeah, cheers to you. My oldest bag in my collection. <laughs> Very old. And after that, every piece that I got is technically five to six years old. If I still have it from when I just started to get my pieces. So yeah, this is definitely one of the oldest pieces in my collection right so let's jump into bags that i think that everyone should get for their first bag so drum roll bag number one i think a speedy speedy 25 doesn't really make sense getting so i would always say between a speedy 30 and 35 should be one of your first bags it's affordable it's something that you know it's within reach you don't have to wait too long to get it um put together to get it if you're saving towards a bag um i feel it's quite a great bag to carry around you might want to get the bondelier version where it have a, comes with a strap versus getting the normal keep out version or i should say the normal versions that is without the strap because carrying a handle bag can get tire quite tiring sometimes so there's a big difference within prices so you might want to take a look into that and add it into your budget but I would say, definitely, this is a bag that you should consider to be one of your first bag. A tote bag. I would say, for bag number two, I would say definitely it'd be a tote bag. So, I would say the Neverfull. You can never go wrong with a Neverfull. The name says it for you. Never full. You could put as much stuff as you want in it. You could put as little as you want in it. I think it's a great first bag for everyone to have. Um, if you want to have something to carry around, the straps could be a bit annoying at times when it's too full because it's quite thin. It could sink into your shoulder. But other to that, I think it's quite great for you to have as a first bag. Um, bag number three, I would say, would be definitely uh gucci marmont um or the gucci dianasis you know it's a kind of nice cute classic bag you could carry it with you for years you could keep it with you it carries a good bit you could also dress it up you could dress it down and that's if you definitely want to have a mixture of use uses to your bag so when i mean mixture of uses let me kind of explain myself here because people might be like what is she talking about what i mean to say is if you buy yourself a dianasis bag or a gucci marmont i'm mentioning the two because i feel it's a great first bag either or so you could actually dress it up or dress it down so you have more uses for your bag whereas if you have an evening out your speedy 30 or 35 might not fit the attire versus 
the Gucci Marmont or Dionysus. So you're going to want to have to distinguish the two and know that, okay, cool. If I invest in this one first as my first fat, I could dress it up. I could you get a lot more uses out of it versus if you actually just get a speedy, it's cute summer travel um, day around the city, city hopper, grabbing bits and bobs, down to the supermarket, down out with my friends on holiday in Greece. That's the perfect bag. Unless you want to do it in stages so you get that what I'm saying. Also, a great tote, I would say, is the River Gouche from um, YSL. But I think that's a bit top. But there's also a tote from YSL, which I don't remember the name. This is also a good leather tote. It's fully leather. And it comes in two sizes, if I'm not mistaken. It is an amazing, also, first-timers piece. Versus the Neverfull, it's more affordable than the Neverfull. And um, yeah, I definitely think it's pieces that you should look into. And I actually definitely would say um, you should just compare it as to what you want to have as your first and what you want it to do for you. And yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> ah, my days. Uh, let me think. Mm. Two hours later. Those are my top three bags that I think you should get as your first handbag. And definitely it would be something that you could keep as long as you would like to. My first was Burberry because at the time I really liked the Burberry print. It was trending. It was what was the in thing. Um, so at that time it was something that I got and I, I'm proud of her and... As I said, you know, your first always has to be something that you know that you would cherish and keep forever. And I'm definitely looking forward on passing it down to one of my daughters or a son's girlfriends um, or grandchild. Oh my God, like that kind of like makes me feel like I'm getting old. But um, yeah, as I said, um, it's definitely something that I'm really happy to have in my collection despite of all that I've been through and all that I've wherever I've moved to live where she always came with me. She's here with me. She's always going to be here with me until the day I die. So to that, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope this video was informative. Hope you guys got some great information from this video today. Um, I share with you guys what I think your top three first handbags should be. And how i got this bag um versus um caribbean way of travel <laughs> a little personal story there um yeah and i'm glad that you guys tuned in today and hope it was informative and hope you guys enjoyed it so until next time peace out <laughs>